Hello there, Terry here from Dot Points. There was a Hewlett Packard internal report that came out in recent years that said that by and large, most women feel like they have to be able to address 100% of core criteria in a job advertisement before they put themselves forward. Men, on the other hand, tend to just put themselves forward. We encourage men and women to take opportunities as they arise, even if you don't meet all the criteria. And here's a couple of tips on how you can do that. The first thing that you need to do is really know your own strengths. And the best way for you to do that is to progressively keep your resume up to date. By that we mean every time you have an accomplishment at work, you should put that on your resume and do it as you go because it's really hard to think back on what you might have done in previous months or even years. That could be as simple as completing a significant report or having an initiative that you came up with being implemented in your team or in your company every time you do something, a significant presentation that you've, give, you've given, your sales numbers, whatever they are, progressively put those onto your resume so your resume is always spot on and ready to go without you having to do a late nighter to try and meet a deadline to apply for a job. The next thing is, and it goes without saying, keep your resume up to date and keep your LinkedIn profile up to date. So you're doing those two things in tandem. So you're putting your accomplishments as you, as you have them on both of those things. Then when opportunities arise, whether they're internal in your company as the comments or, or projects, short term or long term, you are ready to put your hand up. Now, we're not suggesting that you should leave your current job <clears throat> if you are happy there, but you should always be in a position where you're ready to put yourself forward. Now, what about those criteria? that you feel like you don't meet. There's always a way that you can address those criteria. Let's say you feel like you lack experience in item B and it would require you to learn something new, whether it's lear learning new software, for example. What you can do to write your application around that is to provide an example of that, that displays that you've learned a different skill in the workplace really quickly and the prospective employer is able to see well you can learn really quickly so you'll be able to learn that particular new software now what that does is shows that that you're willing to learn and that you have that ability to just pick something up remember that a job description or a job advertisement is an employer's absolute wish list now, unless there are lots of perfect employees out there and job applicants, which there aren't, don't worry about that. But if you've got some core strengths that apply to a role or an opportunity, either in your company or outside of it, put yourself forward and just know that you can highlight your strengths, show your willingness to learn and other aspects. And what's the worst that can happen? The same thing that will happen if you don't put yourself forward so you don't get the job but putting yourself forward sends a signal if you're doing it internally to your company that you're willing to learn and to grow be well in the workplace today